So, um, I don't know how many of you have uh, uh, canker sores in your mouth or like these sores in your mouth after you like play sports and you hit your mouth and the sore uh, develops into this white, round, really painful uh, uh, ulcer, what do they call it, aphis ulcer or canker sores or, or uh, mouth ulcers uh, that, that's created in your mouth. Anyway, they're really painful and for me and for my past experience of other people it usually takes two weeks for it to heal up and usually after six days or like or so it, it, it gets the most painful. Um, <clears throat> there's many different remedies online but I have found a way to uh, uh, to do it that's really uh, effective and I was really surprised how well it was it worked out. So most of you uh, know about uh, hydrogen peroxide. You can get that at any pharmacy. And if you read at the back of the label, um, they actually have a, uh, uh, directions that you can actually use it as a mouthwash. Well, <clears throat> my my mom has a really bad immune system, and she always has canker sores in her mouth. I play sports and I get canker sores in my mouth and recently a coworker who had surgery who had a tube put down his throat got his throat scratched up and had a bunch of scars in his mouth they were all painful and this solution worked great like uh, we uh, like most of our sores like healed up within four days or so so what you do is you uh, uh, you take Hydrogen peroxide, and let me zoom out a little bit first. And uh, you just pour a little bit in the cup, like just a tad bit. After that, uh, you just add equivalent or even a little bit more of water. I would just go up to to there. So, all right. So now you have the solution right there. So before some of you start saying that, oh, this is dangerous or anything like that, just to let you know, if you go online and, uh, and search for like uh, hydrogen peroxide mouthwash, you'll find co uh, well a lot of different brands. Uh, they have their own, and basically it's just hydrogen peroxide mixed with kind of like with water, <clears throat> and uh, and and that's and that's their solution. So. You take this, you uh, rinse your mouth with it. I usually go on for like a minute or so. Um, after you rinse your mouth with it, your mouth will foam up. So, because uh, hydrogen peroxide, in fact my mouth is foaming up right now, Hydrogen peroxide because uh, it rapidly releases oxygen, so it's a really good antibacteria agent. So after I rinse my mouth for a minute, spit it out, usually I let the foam foams up for like a minute or so, then I rinse my mouth again. Usually with water, but you can keep on going on with this and rinse your mouth again and, and, and again. I do it once a day and you'll be surprised how well uh, it uh, heals up your canker sores. Um, the only one thing I would su suggest is whenever you rinse your mouth with the solution, uh, don't uh, over, like, don't have too much solution in your mouth when you uh, rinse around your mouth because you might uh, drink some in your stomach. I don't know if it's bad or not to I think it's bad probably to, to drink too much in your stomach, but I've never had an issue if I just have a little bit of solution in my mouth and never have, like, drink it down. Uh, but a friend of mine said that he uh, had too much in his mouth and he accidentally drank some down. Uh, he didn't say that there was any stomach issues, but I, I would avoid it, of course. So that's the only advice I would give whenever you use this as a mouthwash. Um, but it works very well. and. Uh, if uh, if it works for you, then give thumbs up.